Welcome back to Indianomics. I have been speaking with Chanda Kuchar, Managing Director and CEO of ICICI Bank. The uh, disconnect comes because uh, both you and Chika and you know, people who have announced numbers with corporate exposures are worried about FY17 and some of the very big accounts. But when you look at the economy, you get, you're told very different things. The core sector, about five of the core sector industries, cement, uh, fertilizer, all of them are rising in double digits. You know, the picture over there appears to be like green shoots are there and things are improving. Whereas when you look at bankers, the, they are still worried about a lot of exposure. Isn't there a disconnect? No, I think... Uh as, as a banker as well, I see the green shoots. I think, first of all, we have to remember that, you know, India is a great story in the long run. Even as we speak currently, you look at our macroeconomic environment, look at our ability to take some of the decisions. Look at yesterday, the decision on MMDR. I mean, that's also been formed, uh, been taken. These are all very positive. You again look at, at, the, at the ground economy level, uh, you know, uh, commercial vehicle production has gone up 20% in the last quarter. Two-wheeler sales have gone up more than 8.5% in the last quarter. All these sectors, as you're saying, steal into positive rate of growth in the month of March. Uh, and, uh, you know, the other electricity generation has gone up exactly. substantially. Cement uh, production has gone up uh, in double digits. Fertilizer production has gone up in double digits, and I think these are clearly the green shoots, that even for the bankers, in terms of even opportunities, not just these. You know, then you see that uh, all the government contracts being given out on highways, uh, the orders being given out on railways, and the next round on defense. I think these create opportunities not just at the top level, but also the ripple down effect on the SME. And this is where we are seeing, you know, the rest of the growth coming from. And I'm very positive about these green shoots and our ability to participate in these growth opportunities as well. But at the same time, there's also a fact that some of the past large projects, they mm -hmm. are... Uh, you know, having some issue for some reason or the other, mm -hmm. or the group leverage issues. And I think, again, uh, we will be irresponsible as bankers if we do not recognize the fact that those also have to be resolved. So I think the, the picture is true on both the sides. Mm -hmm. And it's very important for bankers to recognize both the sides, and that's at least what we are doing. That is, we recognize the green shoots, which are many. We participate in these opportunities as they arise with the green shoots. And at the same time, recognize what are the resolutions to be done, uh, you know, what are those cases to be resolved. And in fact, not just that, we've actually been prudent and said we've also keeping certain reserve aside for that. So that's the way to proceed. Okay, you know, you refer to double-digit growth in cement and uh, in electricity, and both those are in your five stress sectors. That is exactly why I'm asking. Will you see these two sectors move out of your stress sector list? Uh, you know, in no, a year so, or so. So that is why, what have we disclosed? We have disclosed those companies which have now moved to below investment grade. That's because of certain reasons, because of either delays in project implementation. Now, if a project implementation gets delayed, the interest during construction itself adds to the See, leverage. You level. know your book. You know the you know kind of people who have got into sub-investment in power and in cement. Are you seeing that list shorter? by FIAT. Yeah, so I think the the increase to that list uh, should not really happen with if, you know, as no, the It won't happen, yeah. I agree, but will any of these sub-investment guys get either sold off yes, or actually move into absolutely. the green? Because, absolutely. Do you see that? Absolutely. Okay, so 44,000 crore need not be cast in stone. It could be 40,000 crore. No, in fact, we in have said that every quarter we will disclose how this list is moving. That is, you know, which okay. of these are getting resolved or upgraded. And, and uh, it is important to do that because we have a very focused action plan and we should see, we should track that action plan. You have an exposure to this Punjab thing which has suddenly come up? Yes, some exposure we have uh, because uh, it's in line with our overall, uh, you know, Shared credit uh, share. But the Punjab but thing is not getting resolved, I mean, uh, it's since it's government to government at the moment. Uh, you haven't well, been. we've been told that it will get resolved. So okay. we should hope that it okay. will get resolved. So what is the growth in NII that uh, you see in FI uh, 17? Will it be like FI 16? Will it be like FI 15? 
what kind of growth? Uh, no, so first of all, uh, you know, and I first comes from the asset side. So we are saying our assets should still grow 17, 18%, uh, within which, uh, this is our loans and advances, within which retail will grow more than 23% uh, or so. Okay. Uh, the corporate book will grow a little slower than that. The rural book is growing at, you know, more than 20%. The small business group is growing at uh, more than 15%. So these are where, uh, you know, the growths are coming from. Even on the corporate side, uh, the ripple effect or the trickle-down effect of, uh, as I said, the railways, the defense, the highways, those would uh, give us opportunities. Uh, the growth in the higher rated corporates, both on the private sector side and the uh, central uh, public sector side, all those would be growth. So that will lead to a growth in loans and advances. Uh, the NII growth will also, of course, depend on, you know, how the NIMS move. We, we think that there would, of course, be some pressure on NIMS because some of the NPAs are, you know, you have to de-recognize the income on, yeah. on some of them. And, uh, and clearly, I think, you know, as more and more competition increases in just that good rated assets, you will always see the, the atmosphere yeah. being competitive. So what is the uh, likelihood, therefore, that, I mean, okay, not therefore, what is the likelihood of a rate cut? We've seen some uh, good inflation numbers and uh, interbank uh, liquidity is genuinely much better. You, you've just recently been cutting your bulk deposit rates as well. So should we expect base rate cuts sometime soon? Uh, yes, you're right. The macroeconomic factors have been good. And, uh, you know, in fact, I think I have to compliment the Reserve Bank for uh, taking this approach on liquidity as they, they have taken in the, in the last monetary policy. I think that's a very, very helpful and a, and a, and a very good approach. So uh, clearly interest rates will soften uh, further from here as well. So you expect that uh, announcements can come from the banking system? Uh, in terms yes, of uh, interest rates uh, will come soon. down. Uh, well, uh, you know, they, you always say which day, which quarter, no, which I'm not week, uh, <laughs> how much, but, uh, but yes, they are, uh, they, they will come down. Okay. Uh, well, uh, uh, you know, Chanda, this, this thing has been uh, troubling me. You know, none of the banks, public sector, the large public sector banks and the uh, large private sector banks did not give us any indication of the amount of stress. Why did it require the RBI to speak about AQR before you all declared? Well, uh, you know, the recognition uh, of NPA is really has been so far the record of payment. Yes. Uh, so it's been a technical definition, 90 day plus, and that's what the banks have been following. That does not mean that internally they have not been monitoring, uh, you know, the list. That does not mean that internally they have not been monitoring the various cuts of, uh, you know, uh, where the credit quality is moving. I think we've all been monitoring that. We've all been working on that. And therefore, in fact, if you see some of the action plans and resolutions have started, I think some credit you should give to the bankers here as well, have started much earlier. You saw some of the groups starting to sell uh, some of their businesses even, you know, two years ago. Uh, one year ago, you saw, uh, you know, large sales taking place, whether it's of hydropower projects or so on. This was all, uh, you know, because the bankers recognized the leverage levels and have been working uh, with these groups to arrive at sales and deal. Now, I give credit for uh, the resolutions that uh, definitely bankers were planning, but I'm quoting the regulator. One of the regulators said that, you know, if we didn't call for the AQR, what banks were doing was that they were almost evergreening several of these loans because it will hit the book. Now, once you called it, then, you know, everybody is uh, declaring more than the AQR in terms of stress. Why didn't bankers do it before the uh, regulator blew the whistle? Uh, I think you should put in uh, perspective everything. That is, you know, every steel company also looks very different when the steel price is $450. Sure. Vis-a-vis -vis when it's $250, vis-a-vis -vis when it's $350. So I think in this volatile environment where things have also moved so sharply, uh, I think you should keep all that in perspective. Okay. Well, uh, let me finally come to, uh, you know, your uh, retail book as well. How do you look at life, say, two years down the line, when probably the UPI and the payment banks will be uh, very common? 
Well, uh, Lata, we should not wait for two years down okay. the line. Okay. In this today's Good. day and age, which is uh, digital, mobile and social, uh, every two days things keep changing. And, uh, you know, for for a bank or for any entity to uh, to be up the curve, you have to kind of almost look yes. at things on a daily basis. Uh, so I would say that I look at all these things as technological developments. Yes. Uh, technological developments we all have to do. Whether some entities are niche entities who play a part in this in this whole ecosystem, like the payment banks and so on, but I think banks per se are anyway present across the yes. payments chain, and we as bank believe that we have to be technologically ahead across the entire level of yes. payments chain, and therefore, you know, if you look at our own mobile app. You know, you can do more than 140 services just on that app. Yes. Uh, we have our own digital wallet, uh, Pockets, which is, uh, you know, one of the top four wallets uh, as per time spent, the only bank wallet amongst the top four wallets. Then you look at the customers wanting to make payments through anything, whether it's the e-commerce sites, whether it's buying on internet, whether it's doing bookings, uh, you know, through IRCTC mm -hmm. or whatever. You can use ICICI Bank or its products in some way or the other to make the yeah, payment. No, no. What I'm saying so, is people will find it easier to pay out of the payment bank. Do you see, therefore, a threat to your casa? So, so clearly there will be more players and more competitors. But I think, as you rightly said, the first way to look at it is that all these advancements in technology actually expand your business, yeah. expand your reach. The more and more people who were not a part of the formal payment system really become a part of the formal payment system. So for banks, to start with, it's an increasing opportunity rather than reducing opportunity. Then it depends on every bank how fast they are on their own feet in terms of both technological innovation and going out there and getting the customers on the basis of technolo technological innovation. So generally, as the pie is growing, uh, you know, for growing people like us, it will only mean growth. On that positive note, Sanda Kochar, pleasure speaking with you. We do hope the coming years, along with the Indian economy, will be very good for the banking sector Indeed. as well. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you.